Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another boot review. This morning, we have a very unique pair of boots. Um, these are have gone by a couple different names online from where I've seen them and did some different shopping for them. Um, they are made by Cape Robin. That part has not changed um, from all the different places that I've seen these for sale. However, the name that they're sold under, I've seen multiple different times. Um, and uh, uh, not multiple times, but multiple different ways. The official name of this boot from Cape Robin is called the Kelsey-21. Um, that's the name that's on the box when you get them from Cape Robin. However, I've seen these listed as the Rockstar, the Rockstar Kelsey, and just the Kelsey. Um, it's all the same thing. <laughs> so I've seen them on eBay. I've seen them on Amazon. I've seen them on Poshmark. I've seen them all over the place. That being said, it sounds like you could find them anywhere. They're actually tricky to find because they sell out really quickly. So I've seen them for sale. And then a week later, that seller, whoever got a shipment in, they're sold out and they're gone. And then they're hard to find again. Um, I've seen them ranging anywhere from $55 all the way up to $150. So do your homework. Um, the exact same boots, exact same everything, ranging $100 difference in price. Um, so make sure you really do your homework where you're shopping and try to find the best deal because these are not expensive boots. They look fairly expensive, but these are um, a faux leather. These are PU. These are not real, <laughs> not real leather. If these were real leather, these would be two to three hundred dollars because of the amount of leather and in, 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 um, stitching that that's in these things. Um, they do have a three inch cowboy style heel with a very pointed toe. There are no zippers. This is a straight pull-on style. Um, they have a ruched effect in here where no matter what you do, the inner lining is shorter than the outer lining, so these will never be nice and flat and straight, um, which does help to the overall look of them when they're on. They are actually available in... I've seen... Let's see, one, two, three, four different colors now, plus a fringed version that they just came out with. Um, the black and white, as you see here, which actually it's a black, white, and this stitching, it kind of looks like um, white on most of the cameras and pictures, but it's actually kind of a silver color. It's kind of hard to, to tell, but if you kind of compare the, this is white, if you kind of compare the white to that, when it's in certain light, you can tell that this the stitching on here is silver. However, it is all machine stitched, and they did a really nice job here. There's no loose threads. There's no nothing out of place. Everything is all really well stitched. When I was first looking to order these, I thought they're fake leather. They're only $55. They're going to be cheap Chinese crap and I'm wrong <laughs> it's it's very wrong to think that um these have got to be some of the nicest cheap boots that I've had um the quality of the stitching and whatnot is right along the same lines as pleaser um so anybody that's familiar with pleaser boots these are right right along the same lines as those. Um, in terms of comfort, they actually feel like they run a little big. Um, when I put these on, my foot's actually kind of floating in here a little bit. So I haven't, just like the, um, the last pair of Jessica Simpson, um, the tulips that we just did a review on in the last video, I haven't got a lot of time to wear these, I only kind of put them on, make sure they fit and warm around the house for maybe two minutes, three minutes. So I don't have a lot of, of heel time in them. 
but I can tell you from just the quick time that I did wear them around the house, they are extremely comfortable. It's probably because it's only a three inch heel at the very end. Whereas I'm used to wearing four inch or five inch heels along with, you know, a small platform or whatever. These are very, very low to the point that I'm almost not even noticing that there's a heel. They don't pitch me forward at all. They're, they do have a bit of a slope, but it's not that bad because, you know, a three inch heel with a size 11 shoe is not very steep. As your foot is smaller, a shorter heel feels taller. If that makes any sense as your as your toes come up this tends to pitch higher because it's you know you're shortening everything so for a very petite woman with like size five feet a three inch heel is going to feel really tall whereas somebody like myself with a size 11 foot a three inch heel feels nothing even a five inch heel is not that steep whereas somebody with a size five foot a five inch heel is going to be almost impossible to walk in and feel like ballet heels, you know, where your foot's almost straight up and down. So, well, like I said, overall, the construction's really great. Um, they're also really, really tall, and we're going to do this. I, I have yet to actually measure these. Um, the website and, and whatnot, the information that comes from Cape Robin says, as you go up in size... The shaft height increases and the shaft diameter increases. Now, they had the information on their site based off of a size 6 as far as what the shaft height was and what the diameter was, um, what the, the opening is. And they said, I believe, if I remember right, that for every size you go up, the shaft increases by half an inch, the shaft length. Um, so I think they said it was like a 22 inch shaft height for a size six. And because I'm a size 11, that's five sizes. That's two and a half inches more. So these should be about a 24 or 25 inch shaft. So let's, let's take a look here. I'm going to take up my little tape measure and I'm going to go from the very top of the back of the heel up to here. And I'm at. 23 and a half at the back side of it but if i extend all the way out because the, the the top of it's curved if i try to kind of draw an imaginary line there we are actually at 25 inches 25 inches at the very at the very top and when i tried these on they almost felt like they were the tallest boot that i have in the closet and because i'm so curious about it we're gonna put them up against the Pleaser Seduce, which is a full thigh high boot. And let's see what we get out of these. We are at, if we draw the imaginary line from the front, we're at 26. So these are technically taller by an inch, but these are dang close. It is a full thigh high. Um, and I think because the heel is lower, it feels taller on my leg. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. Maybe it's just a psychological thing, but because these have a five inch heel and whatnot, and they, they're really kind of tipping you forward and that sort of thing. And also these have a real sloped top. I was only getting 24 inches down here. The 20, the 25 is up here. So in theory, these two boots are basically the same height. So it's a real interesting fact. It's something that I didn't know. Um, that's something that I really didn't know if it was these really the, the tallest or not in the closet, but they're they're right up there. I mean, it's it's pretty much the the second tallest by by, by that much. <laughs> um, so again, it's the Kelsey Twenty One from Cape Robin. Um, you can find them. You can find them when they're available. You can find them online. Thank you for watching yet another boot review. Um, these will definitely definitely be featured on my 
other channel on the other site. Um, I'm still a little leery on mentioning things about that in YouTube. I don't know what they'll say about something like that, so we're still going to keep it on the mystery for now. Um, if you're new to the channel and you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about, go back through a couple videos back and look for a video that's titled Moving Away From YouTube. Um, and in the text in that video, you'll get all the information as to what I'm talking about and whatnot. I still want to try to nail down whether I'm allowed to say that or not and not get demonetized because it is uh, adult content. <laughs> it, it's no doubt about it. The, the other website that I'm talking about is definitely uh, adult oriented. So anyhow, um, these will definitely be featured there. I will try to do at least one pull on and walking video here. Um, and hopefully I'd say maybe in the next, I know it's gonna sound like forever, but in the terms of this channel, it's not. <laughs> um, I'd say maybe in the next month or two, maybe sometime in September or October, I might have enough money to buy another pair um, so we can do another boot review then. So um, in the meantime, um, hope you enjoy yourselves and uh, have yourselves a good day, thanks. Thank uh you. -huh.